It's summer in the city, so we're knocking it out of the park with Chicago's newest baseball team. Really cool takes on ice cream and great lakefront dining. Next on 190 North. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another 190 North. I'm Janet Davies here on Chicago's beautiful lakefront right at Fullerton Avenue. You know, Lake Michigan is a great place to unwind, relax, and maybe get a little sun. But recently, it's becoming a place Chicagoans go when they want to dine outdoors. And here is a peek at two restaurants that are getting a lot of attention from people right here on the lakefront. We are 500 feet from Lake Michigan, so it is all about relaxing and enjoying yourself during the summer in Chicago. So the Shore Club's view from its North Avenue Beach locale is second to none. This is the first full summer that this hotspot has been open for business. It's actually a pop-up concept in a temporary tent, but by no means are guests roughing it. I wanted it to feel very upscale, but also just kind of a retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city and have it feel very beachy. From the decor to the sand games, even VIP cabanas you can rent. Shore Club certainly makes you feel like you've headed to the coast. It's super beachy. It's going to be perfect for summer days. It's a great summer hangout spot. What would any beach hangout be without an impressive bar? A big hit with this brunch crowd in this bachelorette party are the frozen drinks like Froze. It's great to see the beach. It's lively. We've got a lot of great alcohol coming our way. <laughs> the cuisine is mostly made up of small plates that all keep with the club's coastal theme. When you're sitting out on the beach, you think of seafood. So it's ceviche. We have mahi tacos this year. It's our new soft shell taco. Being from Miami, you know, I'm very critical with the seafood, and I was very impressed. Another signature here is the Shore Club salad, piled high with ahi tuna. And feast your eyes on the Shore Club sandwich. It is a buttery French brioche. It's a hollow bread. And then it has a shaved smoked turkey, eight pieces of crispy maple bacon, fresh red leaf lettuce, sweet tomato jam, avocado crema, and then it's topped with a crispy fried egg. If you think I was full at the Shore Club with their club sandwich, think again. Now I'm over at Lakefront Restaurant at Theater on the Lake trying to their incredible specials. This is whiskey-soaked bacon, and this is their burrata. I'm going to go for the bacon first. Mm-hmm. That's what I should have done. Mm-hmm. Rose egg. This is a place that all of us as Chicagoans have either driven by Lakeshore Drive in our cars or run or walk by. Situated at Fullerton and the Lake, the Lakefront Restaurant opened up over the winter. It's actually a century-old historical gem owned by the Park District that got a new lease on life. We wanted to keep the charm of the old building, but we had to modernize it. Now the former theater on the Lake Complex boasts a banquet hall, a theater space, and this gorgeous restaurant open year-round. The concept is upscale tavern. Cletus Friedman is at the helm of the kitchen. When we say we're on the lake, we are literally, you can't go further east without getting wet. And it's pretty exciting to be in this environment and do what I do with food and beverage. What Friedman does is focus on fresh by working with local farmers and artisans. We have this burrata made by hand every day by a guy named Paulo Prati. Also big comfort food faves for Chef Friedman are that yummy bourbon brine bacon and his also tender fried chicken. With their lakeside locale, the dining experience here is top notch. We have a beautiful patio right outside. It's like every day we're being spoiled here by just our environment. And the guests can't help but agree. It's kind of like an upscale place where you can come and not get all sandy and have a nice glass of wine and dinner. This restaurant has some of the best food we've ever tasted. Great food, beautiful venues, it's all outdoors. Summertime shy is here at last. Now, along with outdoor dining, tis the season of everyone's favorite sweet treat. And I'm talking about ice cream. I know, you probably have your old favorites, but if you want to liven up that chili treat, our own Mark Nilsson visited a couple of unique spots that will help you get your ice cream fix in a whole new way. It's this order up. Our first stop is a popular lunchtime pit stop for workers here in the Loop. But here at 65 Chinese Restaurant, you can indulge in the trendiest treat around, Thai rolled ice cream here at Wonder Roll. Popular street food in Thailand, 
We made from the base and we chop it out and we roll it into a roll-shaped ice cream. This outpost in the shadows of Willis Tower is the first to set up shop in Chicago. But you can also get this popular treat at Wonder Rolls in Water Tower Place and the shops at Northbridge. Wondering just how long it takes to learn this frigid art form? At least 100 cups of ice cream before you can get to feel. The base ice cream is always vanilla. The flavor really comes from the mix-ins. You can nearly mix any flavors you like, like fruit, the cookies, or you can even go crazy like the spicy sauce. Very uh, original. Yeah, good. Wonder Roll's top selling flavors are Oreo, Nutella, and strawberry. And while eating it is the big payoff, for plenty of folks, the prep work is almost as fun. The way he put it together, it's beautiful. They love to watching it, watching the whole making process. The show was great, the presentation's fantastic, but let's be honest, when it comes to ice cream, only one thing is important, the taste. Delish. Excuse me, I'm going back for more. Our next stop really puts the science into this sweet treat. I'm here at the Snow Factory in Lakeview, where they use liquid nitrogen to stir up some frigid food magic. Liquid nitrogen is negative 321 degrees, so you can imagine how quickly it freezes the cream base. This shop has been open a couple months now. Zhao thinks the whole process just makes his product ultra fresh. Our cream base, we add it to our mixer, and then we slowly add in liquid nitrogen, so it flash freeze it real quick, so there's less ice crystals in the ice cream, which makes it a lot creamier and smoother. Signatures here at Snow Factory are Popeyes, or their take on Dippin' Dots, and their cookies and cream flavored ice cream. So it's not all about the ice cream. They got some great little snacks. You guys know Flaming Hot Cheetos? They're usually Flaming Hot. These are ice cold. Dragon Breast would basically fuse these different snacks with liquid nitrogen. So when you bite into it, you like breathe out smoke from your nose and mouth. All the kids really like it. Now I could get used to chemistry lessons like this, tasty and fun. I loved it. Um, you really can't find this anywhere else. Just watching it was really cool, and then and then eating it makes it a fun experience. This ice cream is awesome. Hey, if you're out in the burbs, Snow Factory has a shop in Bowling Brook. Okay, when we come back, ABC 7's Dion Miller introduces us to the new Chicago dogs, and I'm not talking about food. 190 North will be right back. ABC 7's 190 North is brought to you in part by Broadway in Chicago, providing entertainment in the heart of Chicago's theater district. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.